everyone doing today? Lance, what's going on, dude? Replacing Vinny I... today. What a job. Yeah, I'm just glad I still have the Canadian network so I don't get technical difficulties. That's right. Oh gosh. Brian's hair always looks terrible. Right. You can make fun of my hair after John Cena just returned at the end of that pay-per-view. I, I mean, was come on. Say, I was going to say, you guys smokes. have the same haircut. Just realizing now, because I turned it off in order to get set up in time, I didn't catch the John Cena thing. Oh, Lord. Oops. She stood in the middle of the ring. And she looked up and she reached with her hand, and then she got wiped out, I think, by Natty. So her magic was it didn't work. If there's a triangle, you want to get on and you want to jump this way or you want to jump this way. Because as you jump, as you can see by my ladder illustration right here, as you propel yourself this way, your energy goes that way. There's just no leverage. You know, you'd need, you know, Yokozuna sitting on the bottom rung to hold it still. If Nikki Cross gets to become a full superhero, she could tag with Omos and she could still be almost a superhero. Pretty good one. I like it. She's fucking, she looked furious. And she's flipping off the crowd and the peacock screen goes dark for a while. So speaking of gray areas, I can see a goddamn thing in this gray and black area of Peacock when they got all fucked up for 15 minutes. My cock was broken, this guy said. Can you say that on Twitch? He couldn't get his cock up. It should surprise no one. The, the whole boobs act has heat with me. Crazy, wacky guy doing air guitar is not my thing. If you like seeing Ricochet make you really upset that they don't do anything with Ricochet, this was the match for you. If you like Seeing Kevin Owens decide that even though he has a beautiful family, he's determined to kill himself in the ring, this was a match for you. Roman Reigns versus Edge for the title. Sorry, Brian. What the hell's going on over there? <laughs> Got a text. My bad. It plays a song for a text? Brian, move along. Who here in the chat can name that tune? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's this person says it sounds like Faith. With that one guy? <laughs> We gotta have faith. Guy. George Michael. George Michael, that's right. Yes. I was gonna say Shawn Michaels. This may have been the case that he took your damn advice and had his eyes closed and not looking at the ref. <laughs> well. And just listened. That's why people open their eyes and look no, at the ref. No, right? no, no, no. There was if he nobody. had his eyes open, he would have known the ref was Oh, there. get out of here with his eyes. Bullshit. <laughs> it's all your fault, Brian. No, it's not my fault. Roman Reigns wins, and then Lance shut off the show like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> and then Craig had some weird fucking song playing on his phone. And then John Cena. Was it John Cena's music, Craig? Because that actually no, would be a great tie-in for Brian. what happened next. What is the last sport you remember playing? I played baseball. Yeah. Was was the ball square back then? or well, they... everybody got a turn up. So you were your own team. Understand what I mean? Nope. Can you beat Brian at a spelling bee? There's a what? contest segment for the show. Spelling bee. Brian B? versus I Granny like is this. a spelling bee. That's Do money, it. Lance. Do it. Money. Would you want to travel to space? No. What about you, Craig? Absolutely. Getting a phallic symbol and blast off to the stars, that'd be a good time. Granny, if you owned a time machine, what year would you like to go back to? 1983. <laughs> 1983. Why does uh, Reigns have Paul Newman follow him? Is he Paul to... Newman. Do you mean Paul Heyman? Heyman. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, he why makes great he... salad dressing. There was McMahon. He came out, and all he said was, where in the hell have you all been? Language. And, and walked off. That's what he said. I'm glad they let Nikki win. I didn't watch it, but I gave it a 10. <laughs> you she, didn't watch it, but you gave it a 10. Because she won. Tommy and Suri. Excellent. Maybe you can be our stardom correspondent. At the Survivor Series, The Undertaker joined the team headed by the million-dollar man, Ted DeBees. <laughs> How's that, Ted DeBees? Despite me having a subscription, it kept telling me I didn't and wouldn't let me on the network to watch this damn show. But I managed to find on Daily Motion this show chopped up into 12 seven minute segments oh. in different videos. Oh my gosh. That had to be in about 10p. Excuse me, 10p? Oh, it was so bad. These people tried to tear our family apart, but they couldn't. Just like this will not tear this country apart. And when you watch it, you're like, what in the fuck? Sorry, Granny, but that's the only thing you can think. What in the fuck is this person? What? Why is she talking? What is happening here? Paul Heyman 
actually came up to me during the day and said, you're going to say something, right? And I was like, I was debating on not. And he says, I really think you should. I think you'll offer a different perspective and, and give a different outlook than some of these other people. I'd appreciate it if you would. So I did. This man, Lance Storm, talking about his family, his wife and his kids, and his eyes kind of get red and glassy and then got really dusty in the house. That's all I'm going to say. Ah! God damn it! <laughs> Fuck me! You know, a wise man sent me a text here today, Lance, and I agree with what this man said. He said it really feels like this tide is beginning to turn. Averaging one million viewers over the last ten weeks, and the demo number for this week being higher than the average 18-49 to 49 of Raw over the last three weeks... I mean, it really feels like Dynamite is on the ascent here. It's feeling like AEW is the hot spot, and it is the promotion that is growing, which is, again, kudos to them. They've done a hell of a job. When people talk about Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson potentially coming, and I believe he has signed, I cannot report that because I don't know. I also don't know if CM Punk has signed. It could be yes! It could be no! It could be maybe! We, we don't know! I 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 don't know. <laughs> they don't know. Everyone talks about what does this mean long term. Bro, I don't know. It might be a huge first week, huge first month, and then they mean what everybody else on the show means, which is not necessarily a negative because they got a lot of stars on the show. They made one very, very brief mention of Raw when Joe said that Karrion Cross had, quote, gone on a field trip, quote, no mention of losing, no mention of Jeff Hardy. The Aussie accent sounds just so nice and pleasant. Makes him come across as such a likable fella. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it's just... Now you it, won't it, invite it, over for pay-per-view parties. And, uh... <laughs> One sec. Max, come. I've got a zoo Are you over in a here, farm, man. or what's going on? Might as well be. Hang on, I gotta get rid of this dog. Holy smokes. <laughs> Just stop the fucking match. Like, the move looked devastating. She sold it like she was dead. The match is over. The champion retains. It's not like Zaya was going to win the title. I've only ever really said no once. And it was taking a senton from Koji Katao, who's a former grand oh, champion sumo God. guy. Maybe tonight, you, senton. And I just looked at him and said, Maybe no. Maybe I die. And I walked away. And so MJF is out there doing commentary. He's great on commentary. <laughs> Makes a pregnancy joke. He did. I presume he clears these, but like, you never know. The most despicable, diabolical man in all of wrestling. I can't believe he didn't mention this man ended my career. Nick Gage and Chris Jericho next week on Dynamite. Perfect segment. And, and same with the match. It's like, we aren't, we're not looking for a five-star match. We're looking for Max Sit. You shaking your fist at the dog? No, it's one of the hand gestures that they taught us to, to, get, to get him to sit when he was in training. It's I just... see. The potential of CM Punk showing up, Daniel Bryan showing up. We've got a lot of big stars in there now. There are a lot of great championship matches that you can still do with Kenny Omega. Who doesn't want to see Daniel Bryan, Kenny Omega for the AEW title? Who doesn't want to see Kenny Omega and CM Punk for the AEW title? What did you think of this match, Lance? Not much, because I don't like this Ooh. style of match. It would be like if you really hate hip-hop, it could be a great hip-hop song. I don't like the music. I thought this match was fucking great. And these matches are normally not my cup of tea. And all of a sudden, Lance Archer just does a big double bird, and he jumps to his feet in his hometown, and they fucking jump up, and they're going crazy. And I'm like, none of this should work, but it's fucking awesome. And he, and again, it's the guy's hometown. They don't beat the guy. You're taking the role of Vinny here in the studio, so that means we have to vote. Even if the audiences were even, I'd pick AEW, and that crowd was just unbelievable. I thought AEW was a home run, and NXT was just a entertaining show. I gotta say one last thing about NXT here. We're back largely to where NXT was in 2013, 2014. It is a developmental show. What happens there? NXT is like Vegas. The belts, what happens in NXT stays in NXT. What happens in NXT stays in NXT. You don't even bring your money home if you win. And that is it, everybody. I want to thank you all for listening today. Did you pick? AW. Okay. I thought that was clear. All well, of these, I, don't, I don't think you said I, I didn't so actually say it, but I, I feel like my review of the main event should have kind of sealed the deal.